Okay, y'all, we're about to talk about one of my favorite comfort foods, my McRatchet and the Hall Pass. Here is the burger. It's some glazed bacon on it. Um, I put it on white bread because I had no buns, and I really don't need a bun for my ratchet burger, the McRatchet. The cheese sauce is a little bit lumpy, but it had been sitting there for a minute, so I'm going to stir it up and you know get it to melt back down like it was and that's fine because like i said it's a ratchet burger and all of us know what ratchet means right okay and i'm a cheese lover so it had to be covered in cheese it had to have mayo mustard some pickles on it which i did all that off camera after i added all this cheese oh my god redo redo i definitely need to redo and get into it okay this is the hall pass and it has peach amsterdam uh pineapple amsterdam and also crushed ice and some orange juice and i think i put um a little crown royal peach in it just a splash i don't think even really maybe just a shot I know you usually don't mix light and dark, or I've been told that, but it's it was just a it was just that type of a day for me. So I added the juice in the Crown Royal and the ice, and um, I eyeballed the vodka, and uh, I don't know it's several shots of vodka in here. I like I said, I just eyeballed it. I can't tell you. I'm sure it's about eight ounces of each, or you know, maybe less than that. I don't know. A couple of shots of each. But I also had ice in there too. And another thing you can do is put this in the freezer, and um, it'll kind of it'll get slushy. It won't freeze all the way because of the alcohol, but it will get slushy if you leave it in there. I would say overnight or something. I mean, for my freezer, but I wanted it right then and there. So, there you have it. And um, it was so good. <laughs> it was my McRatchet and my Hall Pass. And I'm cheers to you guys. And subscribe, like, and stick around. Thank you.